Hey everybody, this is Robert Price from RobPSound.com. Hope all is well. So um, we're going to get into something that I feel like um, is really breaking the rules. I'm just going to be honest. All right. Um, so let's just get right into it. This will definitely be a shorter video. All right. So, um, okay. I've been talking about this whole family of four dominance, right? Of course, at this point, you know, you kind of get the picture, but watch how we can extend, um, you know, um, a little bit more watch this. So let's just say we're doing amazing grace, right? Okay. There's a lot of ways to play this. Okay. So, um, let's just say we're doing that or, okay. Um, whether or not you go to that E, it really doesn't matter. Um, but let's think about that melody, right? Okay. So let's just say you're doing something like that. So I'll stop there. So, okay. Okay. Or so let's see how we can get to that four. Watch this. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. So you see what I just did? Um, uh, here we go. Instead of doing this, I did this. Okay. Or what I'm doing is I thought about the melody because usually it, um, let me see. Uh, uh, maze. Okay. I still stuck with that melody. Now, of course I had that little half step movement, but guys, um, you can go so far. Like I'm still pushing this because I still get questions about this. And, um, now I did cover a lot of this, um, on my website, of course. So you can go get the course family of four dominance. Right. But, um, I'll show it one more time. Cause some people can just kind of see it and get it, but I'm going to break this down. So watch this. So watch it. Usually you'll do that, but following the melody, watch this. <laughs> okay. Now, if you want to go kind of like outside the melody, but come back in, you could do something like this, maybe. Uh, okay. Um, watch this. Okay. So you see what I did? And of course, I'm kind of staying in one part of the register, but look what I did. Okay. So, um, there's, you can do even more, you can do more than that if you want to, but, um, I just wanted to show you guys this. Okay. So, um, of course this is over a dominant chord, but you can take this concept and just, I don't know, just reuse it in different situations. Okay. So I don't want you guys to feel limited, um, when you're getting this course or when you're, uh, learning something like this. All right. Um, so let me just break this down really quick. So when I go to the three, like let's say my bass note is over that three, I'm still thinking about the uh, C7. So I'm still thinking um, as if I'm over the one, or you can just think about the chord in your right hand. The chord in your right hand is a C7, okay? Now, of course, this is a different inversion, okay? Um, right, you see? Um, what I'm doing is I'm using all of this in a drop two. So I'm thinking about the family of four dominants, right? Um, you guys should know it. If you don't definitely go back and look at the, uh, the, the recent videos, like I said, it's going to be a shorter video. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm thinking about the family and then I say, well, what chords fit with the melody that I'm going for? Because this doesn't have to be amazing grace. All right. So I know I'm doing this, right? Okay, so what I did is, watch this. Now, I don't have to put that half step movement in there. I could just do this. Okay, but you wanna add a little bit of flavor when you're playing, right? So I decided to, this is a F sharp major. I mean, not F sharp major, but F sharp seven, right? Look at that. And I'm, you know, of course, taking the height, the second to the highest note bringing it to the bottom, 
right now um your base can stay um on that c the entire time you're doing this all right because um that's actually what i'm thinking about over that c7 i'm thinking about the family or the um the chords that you know that are family members you know with that c so i got that c sharp at the bottom now look what i do though i don't think i've taught it like this before watch this i'm still over here look what i do i'm playing a c minor seven guys i'm trying to tell you so i'm, I'm gonna mix uh dominant and minor chords too so i'm trying to tell you guys uh the, th the stuff that barry harris taught is like otherworldly it when you really like sit down and think about it so okay this is still all over um over the one or if you switch your bass note to that that three because i'm thinking about the c7 so watch this now i'm going to go here okay because of course um you can do like a a lot of people just play a b flat major chord okay what i'm going to do is this all right so since this is my targeted um chord um i'm just gonna you know do like a half step movement okay so you could do like a flat seven to the four that's very popular so that's what i'm doing by the time i get here that's when you can switch your bass note to the flat seven okay so um all of this will be over the one though so here we go here we go we go flat seven all right how sweet okay or if you want to you don't even have to play that flat seven you can just put that all over the one that's what i would do unless you're just trying to add more okay so um um like i said i don't want to confuse anybody i really go into depth um you know in the course or you can just really look at the previous what like two three videos you know um but i'm i'm going over this f sharp seven right and then i go to this c okay all right this c minor seven and then right here this is the a flat seven but what i'm going to do is i'm going to walk it up from a flat a to the b flat all these are going to be seven chords right watch this see that's a seven um I'm going kind of fast, but this is just um, something that I thought about and I want to get it out to you guys. Um, so I'm just staying over the chords for a little while. I'm just taking it up half steps. Now this A7 is also a part of the family too. Uh, when I think of that C7, so I could have done something like, um, 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 I could have done, let me see, let me see. Uh, I probably could do, you know, but I didn't want to do that. But this right here, uh, I could easily add something with that. But you know, we don't have to go there for you know this video. But um, here we go. We got. Let me see. Okay, see that. All right, and then. Okay now so that's pretty cool guys i'm trying to tell you in let's say in real time let's see um i do this you know okay so that's real time um you hold it you can hit the bass note again from down here then you can do it right or uh All right. Okay. Now I did say I'll give you something if you want to kind of go outside that melody just a little bit, right? Um, so I told you that I added a minor chord in there. So it's not just all about dominant. You don't have to play a dominant chord, you know, every single time. Look what I do here. Right. Yeah, you see what I did? So I added an E flat minor seven in there, guys. So this is another thing that you can do. Like you can really, really go to another level with these concepts. All right. So this is just a drop two. All right. So I hope I'm not going too fast for people, but um, 
I just figure at this point, you guys have kind of heard me talk about these concepts. So um, this is just something quick that I want to get out to you. All right. So this is an E flat seven, right? E flat minor seven. So all I'm doing, I'm just uh, inverting it at this point. All right. So and then just add that to what we already did. OK. And this is all over the one. Well, <laughs> of course, you go to the four, but everything that I just did, you can do that all over the one. Now, if you want to get fancy with it, of course, you can kind of switch bass notes. But this is something if you just want to stay on that one note. Um, let me see. All right. Now, on the piano, of course, the bass note is going to fade out with you kind of lifting the sustain pedal up and down. So see, so watch this here. So you can do. All right. So, um, yeah, like I said, so we did like an E flat minor and you can really do drop twos. You can do uh, instead of doing this, something else I just thought about, you can do. OK, so and now this is if you really want to go outside the box. OK, I'll do that one more time. So if you really want to go outside the box with Amazing Grace, um, maybe somebody's not singing. You just kind of want to show off a little bit. You can do. Uh, let me see. All right. Just a regular C major chord. Here we go, though. Instead of doing this, you can do this. You know, so. OK. So there are so many things that you can do. All right. Um, hopefully this right here helped you out. Um, um, definitely look at the other videos if you just want a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I hope this helps you out. Definitely go get the course. You can also grab the uh, um, the runs, Jazzy runs to the Jazzy, like Jazzy piano runs um, and put that together because I talk about the same concepts, but just in more of a run fashion, a fashion. OK. So hope all is well with you guys. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe if you haven't. All right. Take care.